Hey guys, it's Quintrell the Warlock, also known as Disney Dwayne, and uh, this is kind of part two to my first video where I covered everything to do with the new expansion. If you're just starting out, you got to check that out first. Um, what to do from level 100 to 110, and also how to gear up to get to eye level 810 to start doing uh, normal instances. Also, I cover in that video world quests that system and that also helps with the gearing up and uh, emissary quests as well so you want to check that out but this video we're going to be covering further things like instances in terms of heroics as well as mythic instances and uh, some other tips here and there in terms of enchants sockets and things like that professions and so let's start things off now with a little tip that really helps if I knew it earlier I would have you know not had so many fallen deaths uh, because the zones are quite mountainous there's a glider kit that you can get not the goblin glider kit which you can can get from engineers but the rock feather skyhorn kite which is a little quest that you can get to get this kite and basically this is how it works it's really cool. Look it up on YouTube. I'll put a link. Um, this is really helpful for getting around doing your world quests and basically not having to walk so much. Cool. All right. Some other things we want to look at now. Um, reputation. That's a priority. You want to be pushing that reputation gain with a Nightfallen. Uh, and of course, Nightfallen is this region here, Surama. Um, because they open up a lot of things, especially the fourth tier piece. So let's go to the order hall. We'll have a look at that. So your tier pieces, I think there are eight tier pieces. Where am I now? There are eight tier pieces that you can open up. And uh, right now I've opened up about four tier pieces. And what's good about that, and it can really help with your world quests, because you get a bonus, the first bonus, so let's look at it, is, with the tier pieces, is basically while you are below 35% health, you take 50% reduced damage in outdoor broken isle zones. So that's really useful to have, those four tier pieces, and you can only get them if you are honored with Night Fallen. So you want to push that rep as soon as you can. Also, once you get there, you'll be able to buy upgrades. So basically the tier pieces come at like 810, 820, 830. But in your order hall, and I'll show you right here, with the vendor, you can get upgrades for these tier pieces. And uh, what's really cool is you can buy them with order I resources. So any world quest, quest with order resources uh, you want to grab because these are really important to, in buying these upgrades. So see, these are the upgrades. Another Lord's Greater Armor Kit. This is for 830 to 840. And of course, it's progressive. So this is 820 to 830. And before that, 810 to 820. So you want to upgrade your tier pieces as much as, as much as you can. And um, so that will help you be more powerful as you walk around the Broken Isles doing quests and stuff. The other thing uh, we want to look at is also sockets. So you'll start getting gear with sockets in them. Uh, right now, if you go to the auction house, you can't really find gems, and if they're available, they're really expensive for the current expansion. Um, the green ones might do. If you have friends um, who are jewel crafters, you might want to ask them to help you out. If not, you will still want to use Warlots of Drain or gems. So, like, I've used a few. Um, and basically, those will help you for now. It's cheaper as well. And so that's, that covers it for sockets. In terms of enchants, I, you also want to use old drain or enchants um, until you find some means to get along as we go along as your friends progress or if you yourself are an enchanter. Uh, right now, I'm an enchanter and I'm doing the quest and it's, it's, a, you know, it's taking some time. Cool. In terms of auction houses, there are no auction houses in uh, Dalaran unless you are an engineer, you can go to the engineering shop and there's an auctioneer um, there's an auctioneer guy called Brassbolt Mecha Wrench 
the steam powered auctioneer and that's available to engineers so you can access the auction house from Dalaran. I'm starting to sell Goblin Guider kits and you know old enchants and and gems and stuff like that and that's really helpful because um, you can make money again even from warlords or drain or recipes and in terms of um, alts if you want to look at um, leveling alts you know to help each other because like jewel crafting and engineering for example needs mining I think um, it's harder this expansion you might actually have to level your alt to 110 whereas in the previous expansion it was uh, easier with the garrisons at level 92 you can already access uh, you know features for professions in any case um, you want to also check out the dark moon fair I'm gonna bring up the calendar so it's just started like yesterday the dark moon fair and it happens every once a month and what you want to do here what's good about it, it that is that it rewards you with a bonus plus five skill to your professions so of course if you're smart about it you want to wait till you are at level you know uh, 795 and of course max level is 800 so you want to wait till 795 to use it then uh, so that's what the Dark Moon Fair is primarily for aside from just having fun as well so there's a tip there for you in terms of instances now I've started to um, so you basically do heroics after your normal 810 is the requirement for normal 825 eye level is is nice uh, uh, for mythics so do your heroic instances and they drop 825 eye level gear once you're about 820 to 825 you can start doing mythics as well so that will gear you up that drops 840 gear that will really help you uh, gear up and be ready for raids which come on uh, uh, and they have 850 gear and what's interesting about mythic instances is that there is a difficulty level and this only happens when the raids actually come live um, mythic instances wise there are nine levels of difficulty so each time you pass one level you get a keystone um, and basically the eye level for each mythic instance difficulty increases along the way I think you have to be past mythic level 4 to be better than normal rate instance eye level drops if you know what I mean in any case I think if you don't succeed in one difficulty you kind of have to your keystone depletes and it kind of drops back I'm not sure we'll find out what happens there uh, so that's very interesting that uh, Blizzard has, has done that it's pretty cool in any case I'm just about finishing up my campaign order hall or order hall campaign for the warlock so I just wanted to take you guys through that before wrapping up this video it basically ends with me having to choose uh, between two people to sit on the sixth seat at this council so I'm gonna choose uh, this is hard now I think I'm gonna choose um, Kira now actually let's look around the council like yeah then there are not many short people represented so I'm gonna choose Lulubel Fizz, Fizzlebang so she's gonna be the sixth and let me what and when it? you finish your order hall campaign you will basically be granted the title uh, for warlocks as netherlord Quintrell. I'm not sure if it's uh, the same for everyone else but you'll get some other you know great stuff but I'm gonna get my the title awesome Yay. And give our oaths. so uh, yep titles I'm gonna instantly oh it's already here cool no other could do. excellent and you'll get two more followers the with the end of the, of the campaign basically you'll end up with I think uh, it's, what is it now six Under so first, seven eight I get eight followers now How so this is another I follower yay cool How stuff the so another, another achievement there cool so as we progress along I'll be back if I have something more to say about uh, mythic uh, instances as well as raids but for now I hope this video has helped you don't forget you can subscribe to the Disney Dwayne YouTube channel and I'll catch you next time bye